It's the second biggest day in Gillingham's history. After their Wembley heartbreak in the playoffs last May, they play in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup for the first time before a capacity crowd here of 35,000. And Gillingham themselves have 6,800 tickets in the West Stand. But the figure that matters most perhaps to the club, win, lose or draw, is the check for £275,000 that they will take away from Stamford Bridge in gate receipts. Well, that may seem like small change to Chelsea, whose multi-million pound outfit sees Zola and Flo restored to the starting lineup. John Terry is at centre-back because Tom is cup-tied, Hoog is injured and LeBeuf suspended for two matches, as is Dennis Wise. So Jody Morris, who came on and scored last week, starts in midfield. Mark Saunders, who himself came on and scored when Gillingham beat Sheffield Wednesday in the fifth round, now starts in a five-man midfield, as does Junior Lewis, who missed that match through illness. Andy Thompson is the only out-and-out -out striker, but Carla Saba, who's been out all season through injury, is on the bench. This is Pennock for Gillingham. Headed on by Thompson. Gillingham in all yellow. Their second choice strip, that was Hessenthaler, number eight, the player coach, takes a tumble. Paul Durkin right on the spot, Jody Morris was the player he collided with. And a little argument ensued between Poyet and Hessenthaler. Morris was quick to make his apologies here, he just got in the way really. And everybody coming in together there, in fact Andy Thompson got a good touch on the ball, ahead of a defender. Couldn't direct it wide of De Hoy. This is Gustavo Poyet for Chelsea. Flo is waiting in the middle. That's Torre Andre. Flo! Chelsea have scored in the 17th minute. And gives Chelsea the lead in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup. Chelsea letting Southall go a bit there. He's got Edge coming up in support. Thompson's on this side, so too is Hessenthaler. This is Lewis. Thompson coming in. Gillian's best effort of the half. Andy Thompson. Well, Edge did well to support Southall on the left there. That was a good build-up by the uh, nationwide team. And when the cross came in, Thompson here just pulls a little way off his defender and John Terry gets half a touch. Oh, John Terry! And Chelsea have scored! And John Terry gets his first senior goal from the corner. The corner taken by Zola and what a firm header. That's the way to make your mark. He's defended well. This is Deschamps. Where's closing in? Oh, welcome to Bartram. And it's now three. It dropped over the goalkeeper's head. Tug back there, surely, by Marcus Browning on Jody Morris, and the referee has given a penalty. It's Browning trying to... Well, he's wrestling Jody Morris, and the referee says penalty. Zola has put the ball on the spot. Now, he really does need a goal. And he's got one. 4-0 to Chelsea. Lamboud's cross, Sutton is coming in and there's the strike by Jody Morris and Jody Morris again and it's in it's five well we have two cracks at that Morris it hits the bar, comes back down no I think that's Morris's goal and it's 5-0 to Chelsea Might still be time for number six because this is Ambrosetti and he's got Sutton striding away ahead of him. Zola is in the centre, but Sutton doesn't 
even need to look up now because the final whistle has gone and Chelsea, the cup specialists of recent years, are into another semi-final and comfortably so. Gillingham sportingly congratulating the officials and their opponents. I think it'll be a rather quieter players' tunnel at Stamford Bridge this week than it was last. Jody Morris, scorer of the last goal. It's Chelsea 5, Gillingham 0. I would like to say that Gillingham did very well. Uh, for a good 30 minutes in the first half, uh, you can recognize the difference between the first uh, division, um, Premier League team and the second division team. So heads off to the way they played and uh, good luck for the rest of the season. To play in front of 34,000, great stadium against world-class players and uh, how they keep the ball and how they, how they work and how they close you down. So uh, we would have learnt loads and uh, some of the lads are a bit disappointed, but I've told them they shouldn't be because what they've done this year has been, been really first class.